welcome back to my channel it's called in Kesse's corner and this is in Kesse. Um, to my subscribers thank you very much for joining me again today to my repeat viewers thank you for coming to watch yet another vlog and if you're a first time viewer on the channel what I tend to do is have simple conversation about things or activities happening in life or things I have been party to today my vlog is titled a beautiful mind because I just want to touch very briefly on our mental health awareness in society uh, to start with it's Saturday morning so this is the whole night regalia <laughs> not super glamorous but you know it's doable I'm sitting by um, I've got a mini fountain in my home so I've, that's the fountain running there and I've got a lovely lovely cup of tea <laughs> beside me just to comfort me um i thought to just do a quick vlog at this time while the children are sleeping because you know normally this kind of silence is a luxury but anyway i just want to talk about the topic today is just about a, it's, it's about a beautiful mind i think there's been a lot of emphasis on having a nice look a nice body a beautiful body by today's standards people are going to the gym having all sorts of plastic surgery, you know, putting themselves on all types of diets, some very dangerous diets as well, I must say, but you know, that's a story for another day. They People are doing all sorts, all sorts, I must say, just to look nice, to be liked, to be appreciated, to be praised by other people in society. Um, but we are neglecting our, our minds. So apart from those that have an obvious disability, maybe they've got some really like really diagnosed or diagnosed let me put it that way um, neurological disorder so we know when we see them that this are the traits we're dealing with and then we know how to deal with them on a, on um on that basis of that diagnosis that a lot of other people out there without any diagnosis without any therapy without any counseling there are a lot of people walking about and are ticking time bombs and my emphasis is that why, my question today, I don't know if it's a question or my topic today is why is there an emphasis on a beautiful body but not a beautiful mind? We need to walk on our mind. We need to know when it's time to relax, when it's time to take a break. We need to know when we are dealing with trigger points, things that just make us go off all of a sudden. Because a lot of this incidents or accidents when we hear people just started shooting randomly in a, in a in a crowd or went to a high school and started shooting people down it all started in that person's mind so what I'm talking about is having a beautiful mind as well not just a beautiful body it's actually a priority it would it would be better if we have a beautiful mind and then we can be working on having um, a beautiful body People are walking about and when they tell people I'm depressed or I'm sad or I'm feeling a certain type of way, a lot of friends, families, you know, in that circle just say, oh, come on, get over it or let's go for a drink or you know what, don't think about it. But these are serious things happening in society today. People are walking around and they don't know what's what's triggering their sudden reactions to sounds, to things, to, to particular people. They don't know what is happening. And I really think we need to sit back and reflect on the state of our mind and the state of our being. We don't always have to think about how beautiful the body is or the clothes we have and all whatnot, but we need to think about our mind. It needs to be healthy. At times, the loud noise, the loud sounds, the constant the constant crowds, people are, people are constantly surrounded by so much noise and so much activity. They can't think, they can't process things. And so they go away without even knowing, feeling very stressed. And then the next day they find themselves in the same circle again and I'm just saying you know I could go on and talk about the dopamine these are hormones the serotonin I can go on and talk about these things but really we need to look for simple straight for what daily practices daily habits to free our minds to build a beautiful mind even if it means a walk around the neighborhood sitting at home and putting off you know all the TVs, the computers, your phone, whatever it is you've got going on, even if it means doing that, just to give yourself some time to think, some time to process. People should also be able to talk to people. If you're feeling a certain type of way and you can't figure it out, go see your doctor. Say, I'm feeling, I don't know what's going on with me. This is what triggers 
these are what triggers I have. And all of a sudden I find myself being very cryy, moody. You know, I don't know what's going on. I'm getting, I'm happy one minute. I'm snapping the other minute. I can't figure it out. Help me. There are lots of services and there are lots of referrals, you know, that can be made to support you. Or at least you start by talking. Talking is, a, is the first step and the first process of trying to figure out what's going on in your mind. Because at the end of the day, it's really better to have a beautiful mind, a healthy, nice mind, a mind that, you know, well balanced than having such a fantastic body. Because believe me, you can have that nice six pack. I don't know, you could have the nice body. But if your mind's not okay, it will affect, eventually, it will affect the body as well. So my conversation today is a beautiful mind. It's food for thought. Reach out to someone, talk to them. Do not stigmatize if someone tells you I have this ongoing issue. And we, let's make the society a better place. But it all starts in our minds. Let's, let's, let's work on our minds. Okay? All right, then. I think that's my little spill for this morning. If you're um, a first-time viewer, please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you some other time. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye.